Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Tonight we are finally doing an updated nighttime routine for the whole family. Um, I'm starting this routine around 3.30. All the kids are home and after school we always like to just play outside. Everyone get a little bit of exercise and then we have a little snack while I go ahead and start dinner. Everly is almost six months old, which just sounds crazy to say out loud, but we are not on an exact schedule yet. We're getting there, but she does usually take a nap around 4.30. I also usually feed the dogs around five o'clock every night, their dinner. They get um, fed twice a day. I know some people only feed their dogs once a day, but my doggies still eat twice a day. And this is a horrible habit to start, but I recently started having coffee around 5 p.m. just to get through the nighttime routine and homework and all of that. And my teeth definitely needed whitening, so I started using Smile Sciences. And I wanna thank Smile Sciences for sponsoring this portion of tonight's nighttime routine. I have seen amazing results with this, especially with how much coffee I drink. The only time I use a straw for coffee is when it's iced, so the coffee hits my teeth a lot. I love that they are cruelty-free and vegan. They're also a female-owned company, which is important to me. The gel is specially formulated to reduce sensitivity. Um, when I'm doing this voiceover, I've used it 10 times, and by this point, I have no sensitivity at all. There's also 20 treatments in each kit. So in the kit, you get the gel, you get these vitamin E Q-tips, you also get the teeth molds, as well as a touch-up pen and the UV light. But definitely be sure to check out Smile Sciences and use code BEASTIN for 75% off. I'll have that on screen here as well as in the description box below. But use code BEASTIN for 75% off. I love how white it has made my teeth without the sensitivity, which is really important. So now we are moving on to homework time. Carter gets homework twice a week and every time it's still a little bit of a struggle for us. He just has no interest in doing homework once he's been in school all day. Do your kids have homework in kindergarten? I'm not sure because this is my first, you know, kindergartner. But dinner is ready now. I made a macaroni and cheese in the crock pot. You probably already saw this video by the time that you're seeing this. But I made like a crock pot, air fryer, and instant pot video. So I made macaroni and cheese and a shrimp boil. So the kids are just having a little bit of everything. And Chris and I are too. It seems like lately the kids and us have been having different meals and when that happens, the kids will usually just eat at the island, but I love when you can have a family meal together. It means so much to all of us, but I just wanna make it clear that that does not always happen and it is always chaotic. Prayer take five. Ready. God, God is great. God, God is good. good. Thank you for our food. I know everybody, you know, has different rules for eating in their family, but my rule is always I'll have fruits and veggies out. You have to try what I make, and if you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. I'll never force my kids to eat something that they don't want. I just don't personally believe in that, and I think that every parent should do what they feel is best for their family. I also don't mind having like a granola bar with fruit and veggies. As long as they have something somewhat healthy, I'm happy. Um, so they are just bringing their plates to the kitchen and then we are going to have some dessert. Next, we are headed upstairs for bath time. So the boys have been showering lately in their room. Um, once in a while, they take a bath, but this past week, they're really into showers. Um, so I'm gonna get the shower going for them and then pick out everyone's PJs and then get the bath going for the girls in their bathroom and pick out their PJs as well.
I've also been using the humidifier next to Evie's bed because she's been really stuffy lately. So I really like this Frida baby one. And now it's time to nurse her to sleep. And I always get so thirsty when I nurse. So that's why I have my giant water bottle there. I also wanted to mention that I play this sh black screen on <laughs> YouTube for her really loud just because, you know, it's really loud in our house with the other kids awake. So I wanted to just throw that out there in case you need something to block the other noise out. And the kids have been using their new toothbrushes. Um, I just got these from Amazon. They have little timers on them, but we go through toothbrushes like crazy in this house. They're also using their wellness rollers on their feet and um, the recipe is from the oil and glass book and they're made based on their age. If you want to look into that, you can. Um, it's oil and glass book and you can find it on Amazon. Um, so I'm still nursing Evie at this point. Chris ran downstairs because we forgot to get them fresh water for bed. That's always a big deal. They always have fresh waters for bed every night. We made the bad habit of watching something before bed. Um, I always try to read to them. Sometimes we do both, sometimes we do one or the other, but we do like to snuggle and watch something before bed. And we do tuck in each kid individually. We, both Chris and I have to lay with them and say goodnight to them. Um, also not the best habit, but in my mind, all I can think of is they're only little for this long and I know I'm gonna miss these days so much. Also, if you've been ar around for a while, you know that we always use a hatch light. Red means it's time to sleep. When it turns purple, you're allowed to get, you know, whether you're on your fire or the iPad in the morning. And then once it turns green, you're allowed to come out of your room um, because the kids will come out of the room at 5 a.m. if we let them. So luckily the hatch light works most of the time. And now it's time to come downstairs and clean up Dinner, literally the last thing I want to do. Sometimes I come downstairs and I look at the mess and I just want to cry or go to sleep. But I know that if I don't do it now, it's going to be horrible in the morning. Chris usually helps me, um, but tonight he's editing. So we're kind of dividing and conquering for this portion. I was just saying to Chris earlier how I think we're to the point with our kids' ages and how much we eat at home where I need to run the dishwasher twice a day. We usually just do it once a day, but lately it just seemed like we need to do it twice a day. Um, not every night do I use the LV. Some nights I use my Medela and I pump right into the bag, but since there's so much to clean, I just put my LV in so I can pump and I'm hand washing the rest of the dishes that need to be hand washed or wouldn't fit into the dishwasher.
Also, I know I've mentioned this before, but if it's my first time using that pump for the day, I'll just rinse everything off and keep the pump parts in the fridge to prevent having to sterilize them. And then after my next use, I will sterilize them. Um, if you have a baby that has a special condition, obviously check with your pediatrician if that's allowed, but it's what I personally have always done since I learned that that was a thing. So now that that's done, my milk is put away, dishes are done, I'm just wiping everything down. And then I'm gonna put the kids' placemats out with their drink cups for the morning. Next, I am taking my supplements. Um, I take supplements in the morning and at night. And I just also wanna say that this is what I am supposed to take based on you know my doctor and my nutritionist. So I'm not suggesting that you take this specific um, you know, variety of things, but I take a probiotic, I take natural calm, folate, as well as magnesium and nighttime minerals. Also, <laughs> I have been loving this giant water bottle. I've shown it a lot recently because it's the only way I can keep like on track. If I don't wash this thing and miss it for a day, I don't realize how much water I'm drinking. Sometimes I look at this and I barely had a sip of it and it's almost nighttime and I'd make sure to guzzle it down. But yeah, it's definitely saved me and helped me drink more water, especially if you need it with breastfeeding and pumping. Um, now I just like to look on the calendar to remind myself what I need for the next morning. Carter has the 100 things due, so we brought Skittles. Um, their book bags are packed and ready to go. Ella does not need hers yet, but she got one for summer camp. And make sure we have clean masks up here, and there's no folders in here. And yeah, Carter loved having the 100 Skittles at school, by the way. He counted them in the morning. It's a little after 10, and I'm finally heading upstairs. Chris is still editing. I'm gonna go up and just wash my face. A lot of times I'll take a bath or a shower at night, but this specific night I was dead tired and I took a shower the next morning instead. So I am just putting my hair up and I'm going to wash my face and put my teeth whitener in and I'll show you what I'm using. First, this is the gel. You barely need any gel at all, so that's why it lasts a really long time. Also, some nights when I'm feeling just like exhausted, I use my makeup eraser, which is like one of those little towels that take your makeup off. I really like them. I've actually had that watermelon one since before Ella was born, so for a while now, but it's no big deal because you literally just throw it in the washer and dryer and it's clean just like any other towel, but it just helps take your makeup off. Um, so after that, I'm going to wash my face with my Tula face wash. I like to use exfoliating at night. I know some people only exfoliate like twice a week or not at all, but I like to exfoliate at nighttime lately. Um, if I feel like my skin is getting too dry or peely, I'll calm down a bit, but right now I feel like I need it to exfoliate. I also have Chris using the teeth whitening as well. I don't know about you guys, but I like to switch up my skincare a lot, like depending on what my skin needs that week, my skin is always different. Um, so lately I've been using the intensive moisturizer from Young Living with the um, CBD beauty oil, as well as a drop of blue tansy. I am just like loving this combo. It makes my skin feel really good. So that's my kick that I'm on for this week.
I also like to use rose ointment on my lips every night and again don't mind my nails I really need to get my nails done. I just haven't had time to do it yet but I like using either like a chapstick or the rose ointments a little bit more intense and then my treat to myself is playing Best Fiends. I like to play Best Fiends or word games or watch my favorite YouTube channel, which is pretty and flawed before bed to relax. But anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and be sure to check out Smile Sciences.